7-15, Ainsley 19-14. And I tell you what, Robbo, if this rain continues, I think we may have to stay up here tonight. This really has been a whitewash. I think the player that's had the big influence on the game is David Clark with his fantastic performance in the ruck. Southern Districts, 8-17. A big thump away there again by David Clark. 30, 40 metre knock down towards that forward line. Mo Winkle favoured by that bounce, but very difficult to handle again. Mo Winkle has spent a fair bit of time on the interchange bench. Most of, Clark, of his, most of Clarkie's kicks go further. Um, his punches go further than his kicks, <laughs> don't they? You said that. <laughs> <laughs> You uh, told me this. Hey, doesn't football get easier up at the commentary box? Oh, oh it certainly does. It's, huh? it's like cricket, isn't it? An easy <laughs> game to play sitting up here. Yeah, that's D'Souza taking the ball. He uh, really didn't do enough in the ruck early in the match when David Cloak took complete control. At the bottom of the pack there was Gibson doing their harassing. Off the ground there for the Ainsley side was Kent up towards half forward. Brett Hannum, you know, he's had a pretty quiet afternoon also. A hand pass out to Conway. Conway from 45 metres, throws the arms up in the air. That's another one to Ainsley. You know, uh, Cowboy, you mentioned about Guthrie. He was the player that got that hand pass out then. He's been very good, hasn't he, since he came yes, in the ground? everything he's done has been of real high quality. But uh, they've just adapted to the conditions better, Ainsley. Their kicks off the ground are control kicks. You know, they haven't tried to pick it up when they shouldn't. And uh, I just think their display has been, uh, has been first class. Yes, I certainly haven't finessed. They've gone long and direct. And again, they went direct. They went down that centre corridor area, the hand pass, as Robbo said, spilling out from Guthrie to Conway. And a very good kick on the run from 45 metres out. Here's Mo Winkle, just on the point of the square. He gets his kick away in towards the right forward pocket region. Overseeing that go over for a boundary throw in was Carney. And in the right forward pocket, we'll have just that. Can't be much longer to go now. And David Cloak's Ainsley team will win the Premiership this year in the ACT. Hannum doing the ruck work. Zockling's in there. Gee, was it nearly a chance there, Baxter? Trying to get the ball clear was Cannon. Mo Winkle again, off to McCallum. We repeat, he's kicked four goals. Oh, Walensky really got his hands on that. Has it been forced through for a rush behind? It has to Ainsley. So all the formalities just being seen out now. 20 goals, 15 to 8 goals, 17. Big margin, 70 points now in favour of Ainsley. The kick in goes to the far side. Well, there was no one there except big man Mountain David Cloak. One wonders whether you'd classify that as an effective kick. But uh, anyway, he had possession of the football and it's been forced over for another throw-in. I think Clopey would argue for an effective uh, possession there. Yeah, well... On the left boot especially. I think, I think we should mention, Bernie, that in his last season in the AFL, he got 16 votes in the Brownlow medal. He kicked eight goals in his last game against Carlton and he helped Richmond cause a bit of a... Uh, a bit of an upset there. The Tigers beating Carlton in that last game. Yeah, certainly. He was a great uh, contributor, wasn't he, at AFL level, VFL level? was so, captain of Richmond in the Premiership year. I don't think the umpires have read about him up here because he only got four votes in our mile running, and he has been playing like this most of the year. Yeah, that's quite surprising. This is Matt Ryan taking the mark for the Demons. Just forward of centre. A kick into that forward line. Just spills off the boot. Not a great kick there by Matt Ryan. Kick off the ground there out in front of Chris Maher. He cannot take possession of it. It spills out. And out of defence there for Rangeley is Andrew Bishop. Just tumbling that ball over the boundary line. That halfback on the other side of the ground for the Ainsley side. Certainly will be back-to-back -back premiership for Ainsley, led by former AFL and VFL great David Cloak. The kick from halfback off the ground there. There's Baxter, can't get the ball first because they're sliding to the ball is Robbie Neal. As we said, we think he'd probably rate just about as the best Southern District player. There's Aldo De Petter. He came off to give Jeff Mo Winkle a run in the last few minutes of this game. Very happy man is Aldo sitting on the bench there. As would the captain coach be David Cloak, who's rucked tirelessly all afternoon. He's been in every boundary contest, every centre contest, and has led from the front. That kick off the ground there coming from Bishop, ending up with Conway. Conway off the left boot, and he finds Douglas with that sliding mark. Just forward of the centre. 
And as Ainsley again going to attack, looking for McCallum. McCallum cannot take the mark, it spills to the ground. This is the full forward, Peter Walensky, off the left boot. And in that forward pocket, taking an uncontested mark for the Ainsley side, is the former resident champ, Shane Hurd, who's put in a very, very worthwhile contribution for the Ainsley side this afternoon. So Hurd goes for the long and direct kick again. They haven't messed around, spilling to the back of the pack and knocking it through for a rush behind is Andrew Meller. So that rush behind takes Ainsley on to 2016, 136, Southern District, 8 17, 65. Well, the kick in done by Tarney goes pretty well straight down the ground. The uh, mark has been taken there by Cannon. Cannon's kick in towards the centre of the ground where Garno can't control the football. Chance now for Graham to get another possession. He's knocked up getting the footy. And a very, very difficult situation there. All players striving hard to get it clear of the pack. I just wonder, I'd like to ask Cowboy what he thinks about taking Bolham off the ball. He's put Dust it. up here. Uh, let's forget it, boys. The game's well and truly won now, and it's not worthwhile, the effort. I just wonder, Cowboy, about the move of taking, taking uh, Big Peter Bolham out of the ruck and putting him into that forward line. Yeah, I don't know whether it was a, uh, a planned move or whether he'd, uh, he'd sort of uh, spent himself in that third quarter where he did work pretty hard and he ran into Cloakie quite a few times. I don't know whether he had any petrol left in the tank burning. Yeah, well, if Cloakie could go all day at 38, I reckon uh, Peter Boland probably could have gone for a little bit longer, Cowboy. <laughs> this is a bit critical there, man. <laughs> There's Cloakie again, he's still going. Look at him. I tell you what, he's been tireless this afternoon. A wonderful contrib contribution by David Cloak. As we see the final siren goes, and sure he is happy, David Cloak, and he should be, because he's led Ainsley to a big victory here against Southern District. Ainsley 2016, 136, have run out very easily winners over Southern District. A very disappointing 8 17 65. And how wrong the experts can be. Everybody wanted to tip Southern Districts this year, except Cowboy Neil. He was after Ainsley. Well done, Cowboy. You came up with a winner. And David Cloak leading Ainsley to two successive premierships. Well done, David Cloak. And in fact, he has taken out the 1993 Alex Jezelenko medal for best on ground in the grand final. Speaking of medals, tomorrow night here on Prime Television, the Brownlow medal presentation, the final half hour, all the excitement leading up to the presentation. We'll bring that to you right after the late news here on Prime. Make sure you join us then.